Uh, in fact, I could win very simply here uh, with the following move. Um, knight h4. And um, it looks a bit odd at first. Let's say he makes a waiting move, like bishop a8. After bishop a8, I can play f3. And then doesn't matter what he does, because my next move will be um, after, uh, let's say, random move. I will take on g6 and play rook h4, and this is checkmate. Um, I didn't see this idea uh, at all, but uh, that would have been a nice way to finish the game. I played in a different way, and perhaps it was just as well, because I found an even nicer way of finishing. After h5, I played king h2, and um, actually his only chance uh, at this moment is to play uh, some bishop uh, to c8. Uh, bishop c8 is not very good because um, I have g4, and this is uh, leads to a winning attack. Um, but still, I was a bit short of time, and that might have given me uh, more problems. I mean, I'd just point out the main variation there. Bishop takes d7. Uh, I take, threatening to advance, and if um, he grabs this rook, he gets he gets mated. Um, the, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but it, it, it at least he would have forced me to find something. Instead, Timon played this this passive move, just waiting rook c8, and now I played king g3. And this is the second move in my in my plan, and uh, as we can see, there is absolutely nothing uh, he can do about my advance into his position. He's so uh, tied up; there's nothing to be done. So rook e8, king f4, uh, bishop c8, king g5. So we have seen in the last moves the the following maneuver with the king and the king is coming into h6 and when the king gets to h6 queen g7 um, is is made and uh, there is nothing nothing to be done so um, it was not a difficult uh, um, finish for, for me um, in, in fact I, f I found this uh, immediately but it's highly unusual in a middle game just to be able to bring up your, your king uh, so um, effectively as I was in this game.